sea turtles have existed for more than 150 million years. An animal that's been around for a hundred million years is critical to the ecosystem. Sea turtles here in Greece are important because they transport nutrients. They go from a nutrient-rich area to foraging thousands of kilometers away. They are equally as important on the land as in the sea. The decomposing sea turtle nest is going to nourish these plants at the back of the beach. Beach bar owners, hotels, all of us want a stable beach. Everyone should care about sea turtles. Wildlife Sense is a sea turtle conservation project in Kefalonia, in Greece. Sea turtles return to the area where they hatch to lay their eggs when they're adults. Now when a turtle comes up on the beach in the night, she will look for a wide beach where she can crawl up enough distance from the sea to lay her eggs. So some of the widest parts of the beach which are most suitable for sea turtle nesting have bright lights, um, street lights or hotel lights or a taverna with lots of sunbeds there and that deters the females from choosing that area to nest naturally. So then after a lot of energy expense she'll choose a very narrow area which is unsuitable to lay her eggs. So we perform a lot of relocations we try and do a relocation within 24 hours of a bit nest being laid. So we'll put the eggs into a box, so the relocator will take every egg out one by one. There will be someone recording what's going on. If it's a nest that's been laid more than 24 hours, we'll put a small dot on top of the egg so we can keep the orientation the same. We will dig an egg chamber exactly for those measurements and pop the eggs back in the same order that we took them out. and we'll cover the eggs back up, protect them like usual, and leave them to incubate on that new beach. After the 41st day, the embryos can actually hear, so if they start hearing a lot of scratches around them, it means that the other hatchlings are ready to hatch too. Once they reach the surface, they use light as a cue to reach the sea. That would be the brightest horizon in a natural setting, the moon reflecting off the sea. Now, what we have on our beaches here is not that scenario. This is where light pollution comes in. They are going towards those lights, which are at the back of the beach and in the wrong direction, away from the sea. We believe that in Kefalonia, the majority of nests would actually not have any hot things going towards the sea if we were not trying to control light pollution. This is one of my first memories volunteering with sea turtles. 
I remember this specific nest that we were all waiting to hatch first and uh, we had watched that nest for so long, we were so happy, but we didn't know a lot about light pollution back then. And uh, I remember when we walked up to the nest one morning and a lot of hatchlings had come out, but they had gone towards the back of the beach and none of them went towards the sea. There were only two small lights on the front of a taverna. It wasn't even that close. It was really sad for us because we were waiting for those hatchlings and they all died because of a couple of lights. What Wildlife Sense volunteers do to combat light pollution is they will cycle out to the nesting beach, dig a trench, then they will go to all the nests that are due to hatch soon. They will place a box on top of the nest and this will catch all of the hatchlings that emerge out that night. They'll collect these hatchlings and they will take them to the dark end of the beach and release them so they can crawl down the trench and imprint that location to come back to in the future. When we think about the long-term result and the, what we are achieving, it's incredible. And I still have to pinch myself and really remember what I'm doing and how I'm so lucky to be working out here with sea turtles. We are shaping the world. Even sea turtles are changing because of humans. It's quite significant when you think about it that an animal that has lived for millions and millions of years, we are shaping it to the world that we are creating. The work is so tough, but it's so rewarding. And I don't think anyone here would change it because we are saving sea turtles. People discover a new side of themselves often when they come here. So they always leave tougher and a stronger person than they arrive. I am so proud of our efforts to protect the sea turtles of Catalonia. We have created something out of nothing. And not only that, but we have been able to get so many people on board. There's hundreds of people now that are working towards a common goal of protecting sea turtles of Catalonia.